That's right. Today is October 21st, 2014, and Windows 10 Tech Preview Build 9860 has been released. In this micro nugget, we'll take a look at this new tech preview, particularly how you would install it and what we find new inside it. So here on this virtual machine, you can see that I am indeed running the original technical preview release. That's build 9841. So today, as I indicated, Microsoft has indeed released a new build. Now what's exciting about that is it's gonna fix things that were problematic in this tech preview, and also it's gonna add some new features as well. Some of those features that we have demanded as the technical preview people. So that's pretty cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for updates. And we are not going to the Windows Update of Control Panel. Instead, we are going to check for updates for the you know previous full screen app. Now, of course, that full screen app in the new Windows has the controls that we would expect in a Windows application. And of course, we've had these features since 8.1. But anyways, in this particular update and recovery area, notice there is a preview builds section and it's checking for new preview builds. And of course, there is a new preview build available. So we'll just go ahead and choose download now. And of course, I'll pause the video as this two, roughly about 2.5 gigabyte preview build downloads. Okay, so after the download, we now have an install now button, great. So I'm going to go ahead and choose install now, and it's going to install this new preview build. Please keep in mind, this is going to be a completely reinitialization of your Windows. So if you had anything tucked away anywhere that you'd like to save, do that prior to this step, because we are zapping the old Windows and we are installing this new build right over the top. Okay, so after a bunch of minutes of staring at the spinny little wheel, we're at the your PC needs to restart phase. So we'll go ahead and restart and update with this new build of the Windows Technical Preview right now by clicking OK. Okay, well, here we are after several restarts, no user intervention required. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that screen. I'm going to enter my password and we are going to log in to this new technical preview build 9860. As you can see, just like our initial installation of the technical preview, we get to this screen where they're letting us know that apps are being installed, for instance, and settings are being finalized. Okay, so here we are logged in to the new build. Notice the build number in the lower right corner, 9860. And by the way, the upgrade, if you will, was not nearly as disruptive or destructive as I thought it would be. In fact, I installed the Bing desktop and I did that in the previous build. That installation has been retained here in the new version. So perhaps not as destructive as Microsoft had warned us it would be. Notice one of the new build features is the notifications area. So just like on a Mac, we'll get notifications here in this area when things are done like receiving emails or you have a calendar due date approaching. So a notifications area and Microsoft promises to make this user interface look a little bit more sophisticated in future releases. Now, something else that is new, pretty interesting, is if we go into the preview builds area, it now says, how fast would you like to get new preview builds? So if you're not adventurous, you would go slow. If you are adventurous, you would go fast. Pretty funny. Choosing to get them fast might mean there are more bugs. By the way, that's something else that's going on here with this new preview build. Microsoft has indeed fixed many of the bugs that were reported with the previous tech preview. So pretty cool. That's hilarious, isn't it? How fast are we going to get these new builds? By the way, of course, I'm adventurous, so I'm going to go for fast. And of course, we have no new preview builds now because of this micro nugget. Something else that Microsoft did in this particular release per user feedback was they gave a shortcut key in order to move a window to another monitor. 
So that particular shortcut key combination is the Windows key plus Shift and then a cursor key in order to quickly jump an app from one monitor to another. Kind of cool. Something else that we see in this new build is animations added to the virtual desktop behavior based on user feedback to make that more intuitive. So if we go to our task view here and we add a new desktop, I'll go ahead and bring up that new desktop and launch the file explorer on it, for example. So now we go back here and we're switching between desktops. There's some slight animation effects that are indeed added to make that a bit more intuitive. Something else to look for if you're on a laptop installation of this new build of Windows 10 is the fact that a battery saver application and a data monitor application called DataSense are ported over actually from the Windows phone. So the battery saver will literally allow things to happen to your particular notebook like data syncing and stuff and stop that from happening if the battery is low. And then the data sense that is ported over displays your data consumption over Wi-Fi and cellular connections and most importantly allows you to limit that as well. So the Windows Technical Preview Build 9860. We did a couple of things, as you know, in this micro nugget. Number one, we saw the installation. Well, first of all, how you would go and download the Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 9860, and then we saw its installation. Once we got it installed, we went in and we took a look at a couple of the new features. Obviously, there's tons of bug fixes, but we saw some of the new user interface enhancements to Windows 10. Primarily, the big ones were the notifications feature that we're now going to have in Windows 10 and visual enhancements to the virtual desktop behavior, as well as added new applications for laptop and notebook environments. We certainly look forward to more enhancements in upcoming builds of Windows 10 here at CBT Nuggets. We'll keep you informed, as always, via our micro nuggets. And I sure hope this particular micro nugget was informative for you. And finally, I'd like to thank you for viewing.